In today's video, I'm going to be building a French chateau in Bloxburg because many, 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 many of you guys have told me to build one. So I'm like, okay, fine, use win. So if you don't know, this is what a chateau looks like. As you can see, very, very wee wee, very fancy, very Frenchy, very fancy. Okay, I'll shut up. And if you don't know what a chateau is, it's a manor house or residence of the lord of the manor or a fine country house of nobility and um, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I'm gonna be building a French chateau. And this is only gonna be part one, so I'm going to be building the exterior of the chateau. And if you guys like it and would want me to decorate the inside, then comment and let me know, and I shall give you a part two to the chateau. Okay, so we're gonna name this plot Ho Ho Ho, it's a chateau. Wow. I haven't really built a chateau before in Bloxburg, but I do know that lots of them have really big front yards. And to make this easier on building for me, I'm going to do a little crisscross in my plot. And if you're new to Bloxburg, you're probably like, why are you using plain markings and going like crisscross? That's because we can figure out where the middle of the plot is going to be. Something seems off. So I do know I want a big fat pool right at the front here, like massive. <laughs> Massive. Because like any French chateau, they usually have these huge pools or ponds at the front where the ladies like to gossip about their husbands. Also, what I love about like splitting these builds up into two parts is that I can really focus on the outside and make it as detailed as possible. Now the chateau is going to be on the second floor, which means we're going to need stairs leading up into the chateau. And then to make it look like there's a mountain here, we can have some ramps right next to the stairs. And you know what? We might need a extra bit of protection by the pond. Because I have a feeling that someone might potentially fall in this pond. And as someone, I mean me. <laughs> also, this is so like off topic. But um, in one of my previous videos, I said to you guys, if you ever see a bot in my comment section, tell it to shut up. Ever since I said that, there has been no bot in my comment section. Go try and find a bot in my comment section. You won't find one. We've literally scared them all away. So I mean, you know what? Good job to you guys. I'm proud of you. Oh my god, it's not funny. Also, I kind of seen this build hack where you put natural plants on top of lily pads. And they end up looking like this, which is so cute. Now, I know this is like very extra, but I want moss on top of my pond to really give it that aged country look. Because most chateaus are very old, obviously. So if we use a decal type up moss, boom, we've got moss. So then hopefully if this works, we can use a transform tool and put the moss right above the pool. Nothing screams luxury house like a dirty mossy pool. Why it look you look like Shrek's butt cheeks? What? What the f Oh my gosh, my cat? Someone take Samira. Listen, this is Samira. She's five years old. She loves biscuits. Take her, because she's driving me crazy. Fine, I will let you in. Calm down. You happy? <laughs> she is such a sook. Okay, one last thing I'm gonna do is put a transparent cube down and then an overgrown wall vine and then put this bad boy in the pond as well. Yummy mossy pool. And then on the left and the right, we're going, can you stop knocking everything off my desk? That, oh my God. Anyway, what I was saying was we're gonna have two footpaths here. And for the material, we're gonna use classic carpet. Cause this kind of looks better than gravel and gravel is kind of what I wanted to use. You know what I want this to remind you of? Bridgerton. You know the TV show Bridgerton where they have like big fancy chateaus. Actually, you know what? One last thing we're gonna add to the pond. I know guys, I'm nearly done with the pond. I swear. We're going to add a fountain. Doesn't that just look majestical? And then using some small hedges, we're going to outline the garden and then kind of create like a fancy garden of some sort. And it wouldn't be a chateau without trees and trees and more trees. More specifically, these ones right here. I'm not gonna lie, if I lived in a French chateau, I don't think you would ever see me again. I would stay in that chateau every single day. If not living in it, I would just like to be the gardener. I reckon the garden's done. I just want to make this footpath a little bit more detailed because look at this, boring, basic, floppy, sloppy. Boring, yawning, sloppy. But with a few extra touches. We then have a more detailed front yard. Now, next up, we're gonna need some fancy fences. And when I say fancy, I'm talking about these classic driveway gates and then painting them gold, golden gates of heaven. And just to have that extra bit of privacy, we're also just gonna extend this through the entire estate. So then the front bit is complete, which means now we can actually start working on the chateau itself. Now for the front bit of the chateau, I kind of want it to start here and extend it like this. So then we have a nice little balcony right at the front of the chateau. This is really 
really difficult doing this with no like floor to work on. It's fine, we shall persevere. And we're also gonna have two more little indents on the side. And like any respectable chateau, this is going to be two story, obviously. What were you expecting, a one story chateau? Girl, please. <laughs> The only thing that's going to be three-story, however, is these towers. Because I kind of want it to give off like a little bit of a castle vibe to it. You guys remember my castle, yeah? We love her. And also, underneath here, I want this to be like a massive wine cellar. Oh, sorry, um, apple juice cellar. Or actually, no, even better, this is going to be the crypts. You know how in some old houses they have crypts? We're going to do the same thing by adding uh, arched openings at the bottom here. But right now, it's looking a little bit, um, boring. So then you go in with fancy pillars. And I mean, if we want to go, you know, fancy pillars. Fancy, fancy. We can even use these convey straight. Con conveve? Convu? Uh, what are they called? These things, all right? We're going to use these. My favorite build hack is using these, flipping them around, bringing them up until we have something like this. The only annoying thing is, though, we have to go around each single time and do the same technique, which is kind of annoying. But it's worth it because it looks sexy. Also, every single time I go on TikTok, the amount of talented builders I find on that app is insane. Like, excuse me, who taught you to be that good? And please share some of your skill with me. What is that, bro? <laughs> Okay, there we go. We got the opening to the crypts and obviously anyone can really just go in here. So we're going to make sure this is nice and secure. You know, we can also add a little fountain in here just for fun. And we cannot forget to add some railings up here for the balcony. Okay, and notice how these fences are very boring. What I'm going to do is get some vertical cylinders, add them on the corner of the fence, get a massive bowl, get some potted hanging vines, and then put them around the cylinder, and then a plant on top. Like, yes, these are $1,800, but you know what? Who cares? Because they look good. Will I get over it? Hmm... No. Okay, now for the fun bit, which is, um, <laughs> windows. Now, luckily for us, most chateaus use good old classic traditional windows. We can save ourselves a bit of time instead of individually making custom windows. The more I look at this chateau, the more it's, like, looking identical to my castle. Don't worry, guys. It's not going to be my castle, okay? It's going to be different. Okay, I know for a fact, right, the entryway is going to be here, but I thought of something a little bit better. We're going to have two ways of entry. Okay, just hear me out, okay? I know what I'm Doing. On the side of the chateau, we're going to be placing arch openings and then using a flat roof. We're just going to bring this out by one block. If this works, I am a genius. All right, roof on the top and then pillars underneath. Nah, you know what? The front two pillars, they can be fancy ones. Wait, I just realized how do I build a pillar? <laughs> I'm going to try and build a pillar, okay? Uh, cube. Vertical cylinder on top of vertical cylinder on top of a vertical cylinder on top of vertical cylinder and there we go custom pillar. I don't know why I put so much effort into that. It didn't even look that good. <laughs> I was gonna make this section the door, but you know what? It looks so much better if it's just all windows. Let in the light, I say. Let in the light. You know, what? on the side though, we'll have we'll have some doors. Now up the toppy, I'm kind of feeling half round windows mixed with square windows. <laughs> Ella just joins my game and she goes, it's so nice of you to build my in real life house. Oh my God, Ella's a millionaire, not clickbait. I'm Kim Kardashian West. I'm a mother, millionaire, law student and billionaire. No, because why do I feel like every house in Dubai looks like this? I kind of want to live in Dubai, honestly. I feel like I've said this so many times before, but like living in Dubai? Uh, yeah, please, I'll, I'll take it. Well, what color is your brigade? <laughs> now for the color of this chateau, I'm feeling a nice light concrete. Cause I feel like most of the colors in the chateau, they range very similar to one another. So I feel like a nice beige color to the house will make it really stand out. Right, the front's coming along nicely. We need the doors on the balcony here. Oh my God, Ella just sent me 50,000. Maybe she is a millionaire. Oh my God, millionaire. If you guys can go in all my past videos and count how much money Ella has given me, this girl is so rich. She throws away 50K like it's $10. This woman is loaded. Oh, she said I have 11 million. I think I've gave you 2 million so far. Ay, ay, ay. I'd say the front of the chateau is done. Now, to add the roof and everything, we do need to finish up the side of the house, which I have not done yet. Now, if you don't know, chateaus, they're very flat on the side for some reason. I don't know why, but <laughs> they are always. One thing I am going to have inside of the house is like a massive greenery right here in the middle of the house. Oh, and I forgot about these little pillars that are going to have to be three-story. 
Why did I make these three story? I do not know. One thing is though, I have to make sure the back of this plot also looks good. I mean, you guys will also be building this plot for yourself. So I have to make sure it looks presentable. I don't know, I just don't think this is like great for me. I don't want to do it. Do you guys know the amount of times I have went on like a Bloxburg server and I've seen my house on like a random plot that you guys have built? And I'm like, oh my God, that's my house. I built that. Hi guys, so da 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 da. Yes, I did that. And at the backyard of the chateau, we're gonna have a tennis court. So for these two little pillars on the side, I reckon some nice hollow mansard roofs. And we're literally gonna do the same on the inside, except for the back here, cause this is gonna be a greenery. We're gonna have a massive glass pyramid roof at the back. And you know what, at the front here, we'll have some fake rooms. This literally just makes the chateau look more fancy. They're fake rooms, they're literally clickbait. They're catfish rooms, I call them. There's nothing in them, but damn, do they look good. For a nice little finishing touch though, we're gonna add a few of these Cupid statues. I mean, it is Valentine's Day in a week. And to make the crypt look a little bit more majestic, if you will, we're gonna add some waterfalls on the top. And then lastly, using classic fences, I usually go around my roof and add these all around so it looks more detailed. And just like that, part one of the French Chateau is all complete. I am obsessed with the way this turned out. We have like a mega entryway into the front yard to our poopy poopy swamp. Ella calls it poop pond. Thanks Ella. And then back here we have the gorgeous estate. Down here is where I want to have the potential crypt. And oh, look oh, at this. Yeah. Oh, stunning. And then if we come up here, obviously this would be the entryway. Oh, I just fell. Well, this is terrifying. Anyway, what I was saying is this would be the entryway and this would also be a, another entryway. I think Ella just fell. Also be <laughs> Ella, babe, there's nothing in there. Go. Excuse <laughs> me? Okay, okay. And then here are my big fat Barbie cars where I like to drive around in my gorgeous estate. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed me building the exterior of my French chateau. Obviously, if you guys want a part two, definitely comment it and let me know. If you don't, be like, no, shut up, we don't want it. Okay, anyway, and with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.